Hey what's up guys, it's Ryan. I hope you're all having a great summer, or whenever you're watching this. So about a year ago, I made my first Game of Thrones facts video, and it ended up getting a ton of views, actually the most out of any video I've ever done. So I thought to myself, why not make another? And that's exactly what I've done. Here are 50 more facts you didn't know about Game of Thrones. When we first met Tywin Lannister at the end of Season 1, he gave Jaime a lecture while skinning a stag, which was a metaphor for House Baratheon since their sigil is a stag. But what you might not have known is that they used an actual dead stag, and actor Charles Dance was in fact skinning it for real. Stefan Dillon, who played Stannis Baratheon, has since said that there was nothing negative about his time on set, but he also has nothing good to say and didn't really enjoy it. He apparently did not understand most of the stories, and said that he took the role for money. Lena Headey and Jerome Flynn went through a breakup that left them on horrible terms, so it was written into their contracts that they would not have to film any scenes together. Remember when Daenerys ate that horse heart in Season 1? After shooting that scene, actress Amelia Clark was covered in so much fake blood that she got stuck to a toilet. George R. R. Martin had a cameo in the pilot as a noble of Pentos attending Daenerys' wedding. Sadly, the cameo didn't survive the reshoots. Jack Gleason based Joffrey on Joaquin Phoenix's performance as Commodus in Gladiator. Or I shall strike down those dearest to you. You shall watch as I bathe in their blood. So I think it's pretty fair to say, few characters on Game of Thrones hate each other the way Cersei and Tyrion do. They really do have a special thing going. Back when you ripped my mother open on your way out of her and she bled to death. She was my mother too. Mother gone. For the sake of you. Though in real life, actors Peter Dinklage and Lena Headey are basically best friends. Dinklage said in a Reddit Ask Me Anything, sometimes we have to avoid eye contact so we don't crack up. For three weeks ahead of the season 6 premiere, Israeli TV provider Yes created a new temporary channel devoted entirely to Game of Thrones. It re-aired the entire first five seasons and had wall-to-wall -wall featurettes with any kind of programming they could find relating to the show. Several musicians have appeared on Game of Thrones as extras. In the reigns of Castamere, Coldplay drummer Will Champion played one of the musicians at the Red Wedding. In Hardhome, the heavy metal band Mastodon can be seen playing wildlings who are killed by the White Walkers and later resurrected as Whites. And finally, Ed Sheeran made an appearance in Season 7 as a Lannister soldier, which didn't go over too well with fans to say the least. When Game of Thrones first started, its executive producers promised that they would never do any dreams or flashback scenes. However, this promise didn't last long as Bran dreamed about the Three-Eyed Raven and the series showed us scenes from Cersei's childhood. And comes another. Younger. More beautiful. To cast you down and take all you hold dear. George R. R. Martin confirmed that the words of House Bolton, our blades are sharp, is most likely because of the Bolton's history of flaying their enemies alive. Unlike many previous battle scenes, the Battle of the Bastards used very few aerial shots. This was because HBO's safety rules kept them from using camera drones over horses and people. This gave them the idea to work around it by shooting most of the battle on the ground, from John and Ramsay's perspectives. When it came time to add visual effects for Ramsay Bolton's long-awaited death scene, VFX group Image Engine originally planned to use CGI to show Ramsay Bolton's jaw getting ripped in half by his own hunting hounds. But after they finished it, they decided that the sight was too gruesome even for Game of Thrones and scrapped it. So Christian Narn's audition tape for Hodor is pretty interesting. Take a look. Hodor! Hodor!
it comes as no surprise that the most expensive episode to date was the Battle of the Bastards. It reportedly took 600 crew members, 500 extras, and 25 days of filming to pull off the epic clash. In 2015, the series set the Emmys record for winning the most awards in a single year, taking home 12 Emmys out of 24 nominations. SNL is the only other series to win more overall Emmys. The Iron Throne actually contains a replica of Gandalf's sword from The Lord of the Rings. HBO announced it will explore four different Game of Thrones spin-offs after the series ends, but more than likely only one spin-off will make it to air. The infamous Red Wedding is actually based on two very bloody historical events, the Black Dinner and the Massacre of Glencoe. The Black Dinner involved the murder of the 16-year-old Earl of Douglas and his younger brother under the pretense of a friendly dinner, and the Massacre of Glencoe happened yet again under the guise of friendliness and saw the killings of 40 men in their sleep. In the books, Daenerys' eyes are actually violet, a color very rare in Westeros, but common among Targaryens. Amelia Clarke tried to wear violet contacts in order to appear even more like the Mother of Dragons, but it affected her performance, so the idea was scrapped. The very brunette Amelia Clarke has never dyed her hair. Daenerys' white blonde hair is constructed through a rather elaborate wig and makeup procedure, which is pretty impressive considering just how realistic her hairline looks. On the other hand, Sophie Turner, who is a natural blonde, dyes her hair red for the role of Sansa. Back in the days of seasons 1 and 2, Tommen Baratheon was played by a kid named Callum Wari. In season 3, Dean Charles Chapman played Tommen's cousin Martin Lannister, but he was only in a couple scenes before getting stabbed to death by Lord Karstark. And then in season 4, Chapman stepped into the boots of Tommen, replacing Callum Wari. The production of Game of Thrones lasts the entire year, and they shoot the show like a 10-hour movie. Season 5 alone was shot in 5 countries on 151 sets for 240 days, having 166 cast members, over 1,000 crew members, and over 5,000 extras. When prepping for the battle scenes, the Game of Thrones team took inspiration from several battles in history. The strategy used by the Bolton forces in the Battle of the Bastards, for example, was inspired by the tactics used by Hannibal against Rome during the Second Punic War. To avoid confusion, some character names had to be changed in the television series. For example, Yara Greyjoy is called Asha in the books, while Lisa Aaron's child Robin is named Robert. Their names were changed because Asha sounded too much like Osha, while Robert could have been mistaken for Robert Baratheon. When George R. R. Martin started writing A Song of Ice and Fire, he was hugely influenced and inspired by The Lord of the Rings. Tolkien gave us all these histories, uh, all these appendices and genealogies, and uh, um, everything was, was rooted and it, it seemed as real as England or France or Germany when you, when you read these things. And since then, that's become the style for epic fantasy. It's something a fantasy readers now expect. They expect a, a, a fully realized secondary world, as Tolkien called it. Alfie Allen, Richard Madden, and Kit Harington are seen shirtless in the first episode of the series while getting ready for King Robert's welcome. They all later admitted to doing push-ups and flexing to look more muscular on camera. Charles Dance found Lord Tywin's treatment of his son awful. He later remarked that it was hard for him to mistreat a nice man like Peter Dinklage. You ask that? You who killed your mother to come into the world? You are an ill-made, spiteful little creature, full of envy, lust, and low cunning. George R. R. Martin has stated that several of the show's characters are improvements over his own versions in the books, specifically mentioning Natalia Tenya as Osha and Sibel Kekili as Shay. You belong to me now, he said. I want you to fuck me like it's my last night in this world. 
During Season 3, the crew faced an interesting problem when Kit Harington broke his leg. The actor got locked out of his own apartment in London and attempted to climb up to it. Predictably, he fell and broke his leg, which meant the film crew had to come up with creative ways to film around the injury. Primarily, they had to use Jon Snow's stand-ins, wearing matching costumes and wigs. Although the wall is the largest structure in the Game of Thrones world, it is not the tallest. In the books, the tallest structure is the High Tower in Old Town, and the second tallest is the Great Pyramid of Marine. Mathematicians scoured the Game of Thrones book series and published a paper in Math Horizons, analyzing who was the most interconnected character in the series. Their results showed that Tyrion interacted with the most characters, and as a result, they concluded that he was in fact the main protagonist. I try to know as many people as I can. Never know which one you'll need. A Lannister always pays his debts are not the official words of House Lannister. They are actually hear me roar. One of the show's most important structures is the wall. It's said to be around 700 feet tall, but as I'm sure you already guessed, it's mostly CGI. However, there is a real wall, but its height is only 17 feet. Cersei and Daenerys have both played Sarah Connor from the Terminator series. Lena Headey played Sarah in the Sarah Connor Chronicles TV spin-off, and Amelia Clark played Sarah Connor in Terminator Genesis. The ice sword used by the White Walkers is actually oven-baked clear resin. Peter Dinklage is a vegetarian in real life, meaning that all the meat he eats in the show is actually made of tofu. When Daenerys married Khal Drogo, Illyrio Mopatis gave her the three dragon eggs that would eventually hatch and grow into the dragons we know today. The egg props, however, were given in real life to George R.R. Martin by the prop master who constructed them. A new breed of sea slugs found in 2013 was named Tritonia Khaleesi after Amelia Clarke's character in the show. This was supposedly because the pale appearance of the creature made it resemble Daenerys with their long white locks. Remember Cersei's Walk of Atonement in Season 5? Well, how could you forget? But what you might not have known is that it wasn't actually Lena Headey's body, but rather that of body double Rebecca Van Cleave. In America, there is an actual argument that trial by combat may still be legal. Britain banned it in 1819, but America has its own set of laws and it was never explicitly banned. That doesn't mean it would hold up in a court of law, but then again, who knows? Co-showrunner David Benioff originally wanted The Reigns of Castamir to be the theme song for Game of Thrones, but D.B. Weiss eventually convinced him it wasn't the best idea. However, the song has gotten thorough use on the show, with it being sang and mentioned in several episodes. Sang all a soul to hear. Good voice! Yeah! Half Thor Bjornsson, who plays the mountain, stands at a towering 6'9. Amazingly, he's still shorter than Christian Narn, who is 6'10 and a half. Gillian Anderson of X Files turned down the role of Cersei Lannister due to having two young children at the time. Game of Thrones has included nine actors who appeared in the Harry Potter movies. They are Natalia Tenya, or Osha, David Bradley, or Lord Walder Frey, Julian Glover, or Grandmaster Pycelle, Michelle Fairley, or Catelyn Stark, C.R. and Hins, or Mance Rayder, Ian White, or Woon Woon, Ralph Innocent, or Dagmar Clefjaw, Edward Tudor Pohl, or the guy giving a speech in Season 2, and Bronson Webb, the guy who got beheaded in the pilot. And eight actors who were in Star Wars The Force Awakens. They are Gwendolyn Christie, or Brienne, Max von Sydow, or the Three-Eyed Raven, Thomas Brody Sangster, or Jojen Reed, Miltos Urolamu, or Cyril Farrell, Jessica Henwick, or Nymeria Sand, Emmon Elliot, or Marillion, Mark Stanley, or Gren, and Hannah John Kamen, or Ornella. For the first few seasons of Game of Thrones, the budget hovered around 5 or 6 million, which admittedly is a pretty hefty budget for a TV show. But with the increased viewership and popularity, 
they are now spending roughly $10 million per episode. In Westeros, bastards born to nobles are given different surnames than their fathers, according to the region they were born in. These surnames are mostly associated with the geographic or climatic features of the different regions. For example, the Reach is Flowers, the Westerlands is Hill, the Iron Islands are Pike, the Riverlands are Rivers, Dorne is Sand, the North is Snow, the Vale is Stone, the Stormlands are Storm, and the Crownlands are Waters. The face Lyanna Mormont made towards Ramsay during the Battle of the Bastards took Twitter by storm last year. According to the director, the scene was shot approximately 60 times and actress Bella Ramsey gave the Liana face in every single one. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching, see you next time.